Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Paint Talk. Today I'm going to be answering more of your questions. Uh, this is kind of really what I wanted uh, Paint Talk to become. Uh, so please keep sending your questions and I will keep answering them, but I can't answer them on these if people don't send them. So as long as I got enough questions, I'll be able to keep answering them on Paint Talk. So let's get going. All right, now the first question comes from Hadoken, and this was uh, a question on my video about painting fat over lean. Uh, it's a long question, I'll put it up here so you can read it, but pretty much what they're asking is, does this principle apply to all surfaces, no matter how absorbent or not absorbent they are, how smooth, how you know, rough, slick, you know, whatever? I don't know. I mean, I don't know every single painting surface that's out there. I know the Fat Over Lean works with most. Uh, what I can say is that if you're starting out painting, I highly suggest just using plain canvas with gesso. See, the problem with experimenting with a lot of different materials and surfaces when you're starting out painting is that it gets your mind thinking about the wrong things. Yes, there are a bunch of different ones out there and you might like certain ones other, you know, more than others, but that will come later, you know. It's much easier to get a grasp of painting if things are staying consistent. You know, you're painting on the same, you know, surface day in and day out, and you're getting an understanding of it. It shouldn't, it really shouldn't be a factor, honestly. You know, if you're constantly worried about, you know, you know, should I be painting on canvas or linen or, you know, a masonite board, you know, oil gesso, acrylic gesso, blah, 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 blah you're thinking about that and that's taking up time when you should be thinking about value color drawing fat over lean like you should you know you're not thinking about the right things you're not going to be able to progress so what i recommend is just plain canvas with acrylic gesso get a hold of that get an understanding of painting using that but i mean if you find out really early on that you really like painting on a really smooth surface opposed to canvas you know if that's what you're trying to do go for it but just in general if you're very new to uh, oil painting i think you get the best results and you get to see what oil paint truly has to offer um in a, its widest range using you know plain canvas uh, acrylic gesso it's definitely the most accessible option in terms of finding it wherever you're buying your art supplies but that being said to try and actually answer this question because i know i really didn't really answer the question um I have found that the Fat Over Lean works on a lot of surfaces. I have painted on canvas and it's worked. I painted on, I made um, a very smooth uh, plain air panels before that just were just wood sanded down, which is gesso on it. No like groove, you know, no uh, tooth surface. So it was very slick and it still worked. A lot of it does have to do with uh, using uh, the paint thinner in the earlier stages uh, when you're laying down the base layers because that paint thinner will evaporate and that paint will dry pretty quickly and that will make it easier to put the thicker paint on top but for a long time i really did struggle with making my paint too thick too early and i would put paint down and i just wouldn't be able to go and paint over top of it or add to it because it was already so thick and i had to learn to use the paint in the right amount at the right times and I, it's not like i ever sat down and like purposely did it it just happened over time of just practice you get a feel for the paint you you just feel when it should be thinner and when it should be thicker. So the only way to get that is practice. So keep practicing. All right, next question is from Nina Hyatt. It says, hi, you mentioned using a brush dip between cleaning your oil brushes. Could you discuss that and clean your brushes in general? I enjoy your videos, thanks. Um, well, I do have a, a video on brushes and cleaning your brushes. I'll put a link to that right there. But as far as the brush dip, that's gonna be this right here. This is actually another YouTube artist's uh, product, and he has no idea that I promote it on my page. So let's say I got a dirty brush right here. Uh, this is just a lid to a jar that I use as a little saucer. I take the brush dip, put a little bit of the brush dip in there, take my brush, uh, got my dirty brush that has paint on it. I get as much off of it once I'm done painting as I can on the paper towel. And then I just dip it in this, set it down, boom i'm done so what this oil does is it keeps the paint from drying and hardening on the brush uh, for quite a long time i've had it on there for you know five days sometimes uh, and it'll still be wet but the next day i'll come i'll get my brush just kind of wipe whatever oil off maybe throw it in the uh, paint thinner a little bit and i'm ready to go and paint but say if you know you're not going to be painting for like a week or more and you want to really clean and get all the paint out of your brush because if you do leave it uh, sitting for that long it will crust over and and ruin the brush. 
Uh, that you're gonna use the paint thinner, so I'm gonna show you that. All right, so what I got here is I got a jar of uh, pretty dirty paint thinner and a jar of uh, completely uh, clean paint thinner. You're gonna have two jars, one kind of dirty, one uh, clean. And I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna clean as much as I can. I'm gonna also wipe it, be being pretty gentle with it, you know, I'm, I'm squeezing it. As I put it in the uh, jar here, I'm pushing down the bottom and just opening up the bristles. You know, I'm not jamming it, I'm not destroying the bristles. I'm just gently pushing and, and opening up the bristles a little bit, coming out here, getting as much off on the paper towel as I can. Now, now that I've got as much as I can with the uh, dirty paint thinner, I'm gonna go for another rinse in the perfectly clean paint thinner. Get all that off and good to go. Now there is a stuff out there, it's called like brush conditioner. I don't have any, I've, I've never used it, but I've seen a lot of uh, painters uh, using it. And pretty much after this step, they would brush in some of this brush conditioner, which I'm sure you can find online somewhere. And they just leave that set in there um, until they paint it next. Uh, if you don't have the brush conditioner, I've also heard and seen that you can uh, use just regular dish soap. So what you do is after you're done cleaning your brush in uh, both of these jars, you'd have a third jar full of uh, dish soap and you uh, rub the brush through the dish soap a little bit and then rinse it off with some warm water and your brush should be clean. All right, now our last question is from Les Butler and it says, if you want to tone a white canvas, instead of using burnt umber oil paint, can you use burnt umber acrylic paint? Yes, you can. First off, for those that don't know exactly what toning a canvas is, it is when you put like an entire um, neutral color all over the canvas. Some people do burnt sienna, some do burnt umber, some do gray, you know, it varies. I've seen people do it with green. Uh, it's just getting a color on there so you're not starting on a plain white canvas because it's very hard to gauge your values when you're starting on straight white because everything you put on there is gonna seem really dark because it's going against white. I talked about this in uh, my last paint talk, so I'll put a link here to where you can see that. Talked a little bit about the difference between priming a canvas and toning a canvas. I mean, acrylic gesso used to prime canvases is very close to acrylic paint. So yes, you can tone your canvas with acrylic paint. I personally have never done that. I've seen a lot of artists that do do that. I've even seen a lot of artists, especially a lot of, I've seen a lot of hyper uh, realism artists that will actually do their entire underpainting uh, in acrylic paint and then go over top of it uh, with oil paint, uh, but they let it dry completely before they go over top of that. So if you do uh, tone your canvas with acrylic paint, I'd wait till it's completely dry before painting over top of it. Uh, when you do it with oil paint and paint thinner, some people let it dry all the way, they like wait a day or two to let it completely dry before painting over top of it. Some people paint on it right away uh, when it's still wet and actually gives a uh, interesting look and effect to it. Now, I highly recommend that people starting out do uh, tone their canvas beforehand just because it makes it easier for you, makes it easier for you to gauge your values, which is a very tough thing to do, especially when you're starting out. It's just gonna set you up to have a better probability of success. So what other questions do you guys have that you'd like me to answer in these paint talk videos? Or if you wanna see an entire video on a certain subject, let me know in the comments section and I will look into making a video on that. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, before you go, you might want to watch another video. I suggest this one here, or possibly this one. My arms are getting tired.